This is me. Just kidding. This is me. My name is Amanda, and welcome to my podcast where I will be talking about pop culture, music, film, drama, and fan videos. Hello, and welcome back to my channel, Always Popular. I'm Amanda, your host, and let's jump into this week's episode. Lately at concerts, people have been mistreating and or assaulting singers on stage, whether if they are an obsessed fan or not. It has recently has been against female artists like BB Rexa and Ava Max, and of course, they aren't the only ones. Many male artists have gone through that too. People need to keep their shit to themselves. However, if it's something soft like a bra, it's not that bad. However, if it's a cell phone, that's a different story. Anyway, so on the topic of female artists getting slandered or getting mistreated, one particular name keeps on popping up, Olivia Rodrigo. Lately, if one famous person is getting put on the hate train, it's Olivia. Normally in pop culture, many young famous female teen idols have been victims of a hate train. Unfortunately, as of right now, Olivia is the current victim of this hate, but why? So today, this is going to be on why does everyone suddenly hate Olivia Rodrigo? So for those who don't know, Olivia Rodrigo is an American singer, songwriter, and actress. She started off on the Disney Channel on the show called Bizarre Vark, where she played a character named Paige, a guitarist alongside best friend Frankie, who plays music with her. I know never heard of this show considering I graduated from watching Disney Channel in 2010. She was also one of the leading characters in the sought after successful high school musical, the musical, the series on the Disney Channel, and it's a very similar show to Blay. One show already has finished and the high school musical series is scheduled to end next month in August. In 2020, she got signed onto Interscope Records, then her life shifted when her debut single, Driver's License, dropped early January 2021. The song broke records on streaming services like Spotify and went number one on Apple Music. She had her first number one debut single on the Billboard Hot 100. Of course, around the time she was blossoming on the scene, she gained massive media attention, new fans, and of course haters just like any other new female teen idol. But why is there so much negativity around her name now? Is it a marketing tactic to get her more popular, or is she a victim of real hate. Let's dive into the drama. First of all, when she first came out, people noticed and heard similarities to her music and other artists' music, particularly Anne Paramore and Taylor Swift. When the song Good For You came out, immediately I heard Misery Business. Any fan of Paramore, even myself, would say immediately that they sound alike and to the point where people believe that the band should be credited for her song. So with this comparison, things got out of hand to the point the band actually got credited for it a year later after its release. So here's both songs if you'd like to take a listen. And another song of hers, Deja Vu, sounded like Taylor's song Cruel Summer that she released a few years ago, and then another one of Olivia's Three Steps Forward and One Step Back as well. Here things get messier. Olivia cites Taylor Swift as her idol, and it's no wonder why she's trying to be like her. Unfortunately, according to many publications and articles, Taylor actually sued Olivia in private for allegedly ripping off her songs. Taylor and her producers Jack and St. Vincent apparently got their royalties and took 50% of her songs. But here's the real question, why is Olivia being slandered so much for sampling other people's music when others do the same in this generation of music. So why is she being ripped apart in pieces? Moving on to the next controversy, when her debut album was released, whole singer Courtney Love called her out on her album cover just because it was similar to her album cover when she did it when she was younger. Now flash forward to this year, people on TikTok and Twitter are hating on her for her new album cover and calling it immature and they feel that it's too similar to her debut album, Sour. People are saying that she's lacking creativity and both covers are exactly the same. Just because she uses the color purple for an album cover twice, that doesn't mean anything. However, I don't understand why people are hating on her for an album cover. Honestly, people need to grow up and realize it's not that big of a deal. For example, Taylor Swift just released her album, Speak Now, Taylor's version, and she uses a similar pose, same color theme that she used more than 10 years ago. But are people complaining about it? No, it's only because people favorite Taylor. So, in conclusion, I think people are complaining about Olivia for stupid reasons. And speaking of Taylor, yet again, who keeps getting tied into teenage drama, Olivia just three weeks ago released a new song called Vampire, and there already is some drama centering around who the song is about. For some odd reason, there is a fan theory that Vampire is actually about Taylor. It's only for one or two particular lines in the song with the lyrics, I used to think I was smart, but you made me look so naive. The way you sold me for parts would definitely be a reference to the music that Taylor got paid royalties and Olivia lost millions of dollars to her music from the previous legal allegations for her music. And also, people assume something happened behind closed doors between Olivia with Taylor just because Olivia doesn't mention her anymore in interviews or barely mentions her at all. 
So, in conclusion, who really knows what her songs are about? At the end of the day, Olivia might come off as a ripoff artist, but is she really? What did she deserve to have so much controversy in the early years of her career? People need to lay off and leave her alone because every new artist has to make mistakes and learn from their career. And at the same time, she does need her own sound and not sound like three other artists that I grew up to. Hopefully, she'll stop getting so much hate if she was a bit more original and had better producers. What do you think about Olivia's music and do you believe she deserves the criticism? Once again, thanks for listening and watching and you'll hear me in the next episode.